Hey guys, Neely here. I am coming in for my weekly grocery shopping trip, but I am doing a little bit early. Today is just Friday, usually I go on Monday, but there uh, was a good sale on Zevias at New Seasons this week. And um, last week I showed you that I bought two packs because they were on sale for $4.99 and then I get 20% off of that. But this week they went on sale for $3.99, so $3.99 with 20% off of that is like the best deal that I can find ever on Zevias. And usually in the summer they'll go on sale like that at least a couple of times and I really try to stock up um, and then they last for you know the whole summertime because it's really nice to have nice refreshing um, drinks during the summer when it's hot. So I am headed over to New Seasons to stock up on Zevias and then I'm also gonna run by Trader Joe's and get um, a uh, couple things for the salad of the week that I'm doing. So I'm gonna spend a little bit. I don't think I'll spend my whole um, weekly budget. I will probably have a little bit left and I'll go again on Monday um, and pick up the last few things. Um, but I'm gonna try to take advantage of this sale at New Seasons today. Spicy sample? Mm -hmm. Pretty good though, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, here's everything from Trader Joe's. I got two bags of the broccoli florets for the salad, bacon also for the salad that I'm making, and then I picked up a couple seasonings. I love this everything but the bagel seasoning. Um, it's so good. And um, yeah, it's just really basic ingredients, and I love putting it on salads and veggies. Delicious, and then I grabbed this one as well. It's just a basic seasoning salt, and it didn't have any junk ingredients, so I figured I'd try it. So the total that I spent at Trader Joe's today was $13.55. Stocking up. Look at all that Zevia. Whoa. Look delicious. Uh -huh. How much Zevia are we gonna ever get? Pretty much this much. Look at all that. The total I spent at New Seasons was 49 and some change. I'll show you when I show you my budget page. Hey guys, Neely and the three little girls here doing the rest of our shopping for the week. Today is Monday, so it is our normal grocery shopping day. And um, since I already spent some of the week's money uh, on Friday, I think it was, um, I have about 60, a little over $60 left. So there's just a few things that we need. So we're going to make our first stop here at Grocery Outlet and see what we can find. And then we might head to New Seasons and possibly um, Winco if uh, we don't find everything else that we need in these first two places. So we're going to head over into uh, uh, Grocery Outlet right now. You want cookies, please? That was such a nice way to ask, but I don't think that's on our list today. Oh, well, maybe another time. Yeah, you want to hold it? Okay. Here is everything from Grocery Outlet. It's all pizza toppings because I have all of those pizza crusts in the freezer that everyone has been enjoying. So I have to keep stocked on pizza toppings all the time. I got some Italian dry salami slices. Those are only $2.50 a pack. That was a good deal. And I got three uh, cans of olives and a couple cans of pineapple. And the total that I spent at uh, Grocery Outlet was $9.95. And you want to hold mommy's hand? Okay. All right, you ready to go into new seasons? Oh, you need some help? The main thing that I needed at new seasons was my decaf coffee that I like. Um, and then the girls picked out a few uh, snacks just for coming along and having a fun day with me. They get to pick out a snack. Um, so they got some coconut date rolls, some apricots, and Renee got a Lara bar. And the total I spent at New Seasons was $11.20. And now we are going to head over to Winco for our last stop just to pick up the last few things. Some good apricots, Charity? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
What about Mom. you, Renee? Is that a good lar bar? Fish. What do you think, Tal? Great. These date rolls are covered in coconut and they're great. Delicious. All right, headed into Winco to get the last few things. Here's everything from Winco. I got four 18 packs of eggs. They only had the five dozen packs in medium sized eggs and I wanted the large and they weren't um, that much more expensive to get the 18 packs of the large. So I grabbed four of those and then I got a whole bunch of bulk sunflower seeds because I'm going to be doing a big batch of waffle mix um, here on my next food prep day. I got a cabbage, some bananas, and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Milk. And that is it. I spent um, $20.96 at uh, Winco, and I think that means I am about $20 under budget this week, which is fantastic, and $20 under budget for the whole month. Maybe, maybe like $25 under budget for the month, so that's fantastic. It worked out really well to do the uh, weekly grocery shopping this, uh, this month, and um, yeah, it's going really, really well. All right, here is how my grocery budget ended up for the month. I actually came in under budget, $21.61. So I'm very happy about that. The weekly grocery shopping seemed to really help with staying on budget. Um, this week number five here, I spent $105.59. Um, let's see, the two transactions from earlier in the week, $13.55 at Trader Joe's, $49.93 at New Seasons, that was all the Zevia, and then from today, $9.95 at Grocery Outlet, $11.20 at New Seasons, and $20.96 at Winco. So this is the first month in a while that I've actually come in under budget. I'm really happy with that. I think the weekly grocery shopping helped. I'm going to do a video here real soon about the uh, pros and cons and kind of my experience with monthly grocery shopping versus weekly and kind of who um, weekly and monthly would probably be good for, and just kind of my experience. So look for that video coming up soon. That is how my May turned out. I am going to uh, keep going with the weekly grocery shopping through the month of June. And it seemed fairly easy to keep my grocery shopping at about 120-ish um, per week. So I'm going to keep up with that for next month. And next month, there's going to be only four shopping days in the month. So um, I'm going to only have four weeks. So I could do $150 per week. But I'm going to try to keep it at the 120 mark just because that'll give me a little extra to put aside for like bulk um purchases and if you know something is on sale for a really good price and I want to really stock up I'll have a little bit of flexible money um, to work with for the month. Thanks for coming along on our grocery shopping trip today. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys!